So things haven't quite gone to plan. As I stand here today on the 5th of March, I should have been in Geneva. There, I was going to be bringing you some content, some walkarounds of all the brand new models from the Rybrook range that were being unveiled there. And obviously, it was cancelled due to the ongoing spread of coronavirus. But today, as we stand, all of the manufacturers have released their new cars. So, I'm going to be taking you around a quick look of the four big launches within our brands from Geneva. We begin with BMW. BMW have given us a preview of what the new i4 will look like when it arrives in 2021. And I know what everybody is thinking. This is yet another concept car that we will never see. But this is different. The concept i4 is said to be 80 to 85% the finished article. Powered only by electric, the i4 has 532 horsepower and a claimed WLTP range of 372 miles. Tesla who? The i4 represents the start of BMW's real venture into the electric marketplace, and I can't wait to drive one. Speaking of driving, I am pretty sure I will never get a chance to drive the Bentley Bacalar, a gorgeous return to coach building for Bentley, a collaboration between Bentley and Mulliner. Only 12 Bacalars will be built with a price tag of 1.2 million. Porsche unveiled the 992 Turbo and Turbo S models, both with tire-bursting performance. The Turbo S now packs 650 PS and will go from 0 to 100 km an hour in just 2.7 seconds. But as with previous Turbo models, it will do those sorts of figures anywhere with composure and incredible levels of comfort. The turbo models have always been one of the very, very best all-round super sports cars and also one of the fastest cars on the road. It's a car that we are very much looking forward to. And now, I know I shouldn't have a favourite, but for me, my highlight is this. The McLaren 765LT, the latest addition to the Longtail family. 80 kilograms lighter, 75% more downforce, more power, and a 0 to 124 mile an hour time of just 7.2 seconds. The LT is focused on delivering maximum engagement and sensational performance. I don't think I'll ever get the chance to drive one, but we hopefully will be bringing you a walk around video a little bit later in the year. There we have a short roundup of some of the most important cars that would have been launched at the Geneva Motor Show. Each unique in what it does and each just as exciting as the next. Thank you for watching and hopefully as the year progresses we'll be able to bring you content on these amazing new models. And Geneva, please don't be cancelled next year.